Would you all please stand? In a moment, we're going to play a game, a simple 50-50 game, kind of like flipping a coin. For this, you need something small that you can hold in one hand, like a cell phone, keys, a wallet. You've got 10 seconds. Find something new. Yeah, hundreds are okay. That's fine. Good. <laughs> Once you have it, I want you to put your hands behind your back, but hold it like this, at your fingertips, behind your back. We're going to play a game. You're probably familiar with this game. In a moment, I will snap my fingers. You're going to bring both of your hands out in front. The choice is yours. Which hand are you going to hold the object in? One hand will be left holding the object. Your other hand will be empty. Here's the catch. I'm going to try and make you do what I want you to. So I will snap my fingers. Both hands come forward. One hand is left holding the object. Your other hand will be empty. Is everyone clear? All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Everyone bring, bring both of your hands in front. Perfect. Now this is what happens. I tell you I'm going to make you do what I want you to, and everyone does this. I'd like to see you try, magic boy. So everyone listens, and I leave breadcrumbs. I say both hands come forward. One hand is left holding the object. I hold up my left hand, and I say the sentence, left holding the object but I do it twice. One time is sneaky, two times is cheeky. I want you to hear it and think, ha, touche! I won't put it in my left hand, I'll put it in my right hand, which is what I wanted you to do. If it's in your right hand, you lose, sit down. Right hands, lose. Wow, this is pretty good. We're better on chess people, this is incredible, good. Those of you still standing, please put your hands behind your back. It's time for round two. Decide which hand you would like it in. And when you're ready, bring both of your hands out in front. There's no rush. Okay, by the hour. Good. Now, at this point, the easiest thing to do would be to keep it in the same hand. If it's still in your left hand, you lose. Sit down. Oh. Is that everyone? No, no, no. Okay, we're pretty good. Take a look at who's still standing. These are the intellectual elite. <laughs> These people are the least susceptible to the magician's tricks. They're probably the most difficult for me to work with. So I think they'd be very interesting people to help with this. Is there one, two, three, and four? Is it the four of you? Are these the people standing? Yes? You can put your objects back in your pocket. Would you make your way up to the stage and everyone make them feel welcome? Welcome. Do you want to come stand on the far end? Perfect. Sir, come on closer to me. And you as well. Welcome, everybody. Am I correct? None of you are actually players in this tournament? Good. Okay. No, perfect. I have here an empty brown paper bag. Are we happy with this? And four chess pieces, three white pawns, and one black queen. Each of you are going to reach into here. You're going to grab out one of the pieces. Don't let me see. Don't let anyone else see around you. Take out a piece, put it behind your back. Are we clear? Yes? Your name is, my friend? Grab a piece. Muhammad? Can you grab one? What's your name, my friend? Dimitri. Muhammad Dimitri. You, I, we know who you are. Yes? <laughs> Happy to grab one. And can you pass the bag to her on the end? And could you take out the last piece? And you can set the bag down on the ground. That's fine. The people behind me, bring both of your hands in front of you now, just the people behind me, and I want you to peek between the cracks in your hands and see if you have a white piece or a black piece. Three of you have white pieces, one of you has a black piece. Everyone behind me, are we clear? Yep. Yes, good, you can put your hands behind your back. If you have a pocket, put the piece in your pocket. If you don't have a pocket, improvise. <laughs> can I turn around now? The pieces are safe. No problem. <laughs> is extensive. Okay, can I turn around now? Okay. We're going to play a game, a very simple game. Hey, step a little bit here. I, don't, I want everyone to see your face, Mom. This is good. We're going to play a lying game. If you have a white piece, you must answer every question I ask you with a white lie. So three of you are liars. One of you is telling the truth. If you have the black piece, you must tell the truth. So if I ask you what's your shoe size and you have a white piece, you could say 13 or you could say two, anything but the truth. Are we all clear on what you must do? White piece, white lie, black piece, tell the truth. Yes? Muhammad, I will start with you. Do you want to step up here, front and center? We're clear with the rules, we're good? Yeah, okay, here's your first question. 
Please, yeah, thank you. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Nothing. Mm. <laughs> you look like you want to hurt me. You're doing very well. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm looking for. Most people think when someone's lying, they're going to do something awkward and uncomfortable. They're going to cross their legs. I'm asking a very specific question. I ask you what you have for breakfast. That says sensory recall. If I ask you what color was your front door growing up, you look up and to the left. You're recalling a visual image. I ask you a sensory image, and this is what he did. He stared right at me. So you didn't do anything bad. You actually didn't do anything good. There was nothing natural. There was nothing unnatural. I think you're a liar. Show me your white pond, and you can take a seat. So far, so good. Thank you, Muhammad. One down, three to go. Thank you, Muhammad. All right, round two. Here we are. Let's begin. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Stop right there. Did everyone see that? This is what magicians call the walk of shame. <laughs> this is what you did, Dimitri. I said, come forward. He did this. Boom. Eyes down. That's right, the mark. Right. And my smile. No. <laughs> this is the mark of a man burdened by guilt. <laughs> I feel bad lying to a man you just met. I trust you. You have an honest conscience. Please show me the white pawn. You are a liar, Dimitri. Show it to me. Thank you very much. Same rules as before. I'm going to ask you the same question. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Cereal. Cereal. Mm. Doing well. And you also know everything I've been looking for at the start of all this. So I'm going to ask you another question. Ready? What is your mother's maiden name? Petrovich. I don't know. I don't know. Take a step back. There you go. And you as well. Take a step forward. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Green smoothie. Green smoothie. I never asked you your name at the start of the. Your name is? Kendra. 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 Green smoothie. What's your mother's maiden name? Make me out. Women are tricky. <laughs> Could you please come up beside me? I'm going to ask both of you at the same time do you have the black piece? Both of you say yes. You say yes, you say yes. One of you is lying, one of you is telling the truth. Clear, clear? Do you have the black piece? Yes. Do you have the black piece? Yes. Black piece? No. <laughs> say yes! <laughs> this never happens. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Black piece? Yes. Oh, I'm lost. Let's try this. Both of you close your eyes, please. And please get your pieces ready. I'm not going to look. I'm going to make a commitment here of who I think is the liar, who I think is the truth teller. I believe this person is telling the truth. I believe this person is lying. Are we all clear on my commitment? This person is telling the truth, this person is lying. Would the person, the individual with the black queen, please put it in my hand? Perfect. Which means you have the white pawn? Tricky, tricky. Thank you very much. And you can go ahead and take a seat. But Kendra, you can stay with me. Let's take a seat. Uh, Kendra, I'm going to tell a brief story and then I'm going to involve you in this. When I was two years old, my grandfather passed away. I have no real memories of him. He fought in World War II. He built the, the farmhouse that I grew up in. But my grandfather had a brother. So he was my great uncle and he acted like my grandpa growing up. We would go to his house on Sundays, have grilled cheese and tomato soup. And when I was about 10 years old, I showed him a card trick and he said, Sawyer, that's a good card trick. Next week, show me a new one. So I went home, I learned to be a magic trick, I showed it to him. This went on for many, many months, and it's kind of how I developed my skill set as a magician. Here's what I learned much later in life. My uncle Fred is completely blind in his left eye, and he's legally blind in his right eye. So he could never really see what I was doing. It was just blurs and shapes, and he hoodwinked me into being a magician. So when I do magic, I think of my uncle Fred. I think of going to his house, I think of working there in the summers, when I do magic I think of him. Kendra, I want you to think of someone, please don't say it, that you have a strong, positive, emotional connection to. This could be a family member, a significant other, a good friend, this could be a coach or a mentor or someone that you care about. Yes? I'm going to give you this piece of paper, this is for you, and a pencil. You can use podium or my table, I want you to write here thinking of, please don't let me see, okay? If I come to the front, will we get feedback? If I actually step a little bit forward, thumbs up or thumbs down? 
Let's find out. I'm coming right here. You, sir, this is for you. This is an envelope, a piece of paper, and a pencil from Ikea. I will give you instructions. You, ma'am, an envelope, a piece of paper, and a pencil from Ikea. This is for you. Here you are. And let me come all the way down here. Ma'am, an envelope, a piece of paper, and a pencil from Staples. This is for you. Staples. You get a special one. I want each of you to write down the name of a celebrity, a musician, an actor, a serial killer, someone you respect and admire. <laughs> <laughs> Write it in clear block letters, put it in the envelope, please do not lick it and seal it, okay? Uh, just write it in, give us something else, something that uh, Kendra does not know. Are we all clear? Go for it, go now, it doesn't be super secret. Write it down, put it inside. Kendra, how are we doing, are you all done? Yes? Can I take your piece face down? Let's put it in here. Da, da, da. You can put the pencil on there if you'd like. This is for you. And Kendra, can I make you my unpaid assistant? Could you collect their envelopes when they're done? Hold them up in the air when you're done, everybody. Hold them up like this, just with your fingertips. Just like this. Kendra will collect them. Thank you, Kendra. Mix them up in your hands when you're doing it. Mix, 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 mix. Hold them up in the air. Hold them up like this. Good. You can't see through them. Mix, 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 and come up on stage once you've collected them all. Thank you, Kendra. What I'm about to show you is not telepathy. This is empathy. When your friend walks in the room, you can tell if they're upset or not. If you know them well enough, you might know what happened to make them feel that way. That's what I'm going to show you today. Kendra, please mix them up. There's no holes, no trap doors, no wires, no mirrors. I can't see through these. Happy? And even if I could see through them, I'm going to stand far enough away that I wouldn't be able to decipher what's there. Would you please hold up one of them in the air? I'm going to pick up on your connection to this envelope. And yeah, take a step further away. Hold up one high in the air with your hand. I'm not getting anything. Um, you do not have a connection to this person. Go ahead and open it up. This is a celebrity, just yes or no. Process of elimination. Celebrity, yes. Uh, is it a male? Yes. Is it a musician? No, that's okay, it's not the trick. All right, put it down on the table, the podium doesn't matter, keep mixing, mix, 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 mix. Put one up high in the air, again, when you're ready. Ooh, is the person you're thinking of, do they do any acting, any theater in any way? No, this is a celebrity, open that up. Celebrity, yes? You can tell us who it is. Who is it, nice and loud? Justin Bieber. Ah! <laughs> He acts like he can sing. Good, keep mixing, keep mixing, put it down. Two left. High in the air, mix one up. This is it. This is the person you're thinking of. That should be a celebrity. Go ahead and open that up, tell us who that is. Celebrity, yes, if that's a celebrity, this is the last person, who'd you get? Beyonce. Beyonce, wonderful. We have identified the person that you're thinking of, Kendra. I'm gonna set this here. Would you come on over? Put your left hand on my shoulder. Take a deep breath in, let it out, it's not magic, and would you close your eyes? I want you to imagine a recent memory that you have of this person, or a prominent memory, but make it first person like you're having a dream. Make the sensations very dramatic, okay? If this is a concert, make the music loud. If this is a meal, make the flavor very accentuated. Okay, you're, you're doing good, this is very good. Okay, now I want you to, to focus your picture now just on the person. Is this someone that you look up to? Do they look up to you? Is this eye to eye? How do you feel when you're with them? Okay, this is good, this is good. You can take your hand off here and you can open your eyes. This is someone that you have known for the majority of your life. This isn't someone that you met halfway through and we're going to be about. This is a long time person. Um, I would say this person is currently not working. They're retired, is that correct? correct. Around my height, short hair or no hair? Short hair. Brown eyes? Yes. Hmm. Uh, this is a male, am I correct in that as well? And this memory, I believe you haven't seen them recently. They live in Ontario, am I correct in saying that? Did you see them like for Easter, some special occasion? You were thinking of some kind of meal, like a gathering in that way, is that correct? Yes, okay, good. I'm gonna grab just this, we're getting there. This person's retired, correct? Did they do anything in finance before they retired? Um, they worked for the city. City of Toronto? Toronto yes. What did they do? Uh, emergency services. Emergency services, okay. Do you know when, um, this is not the trick,
trick. Do you know when they were born? Do you know, like just at the top of your head? Yes. When were they born? Ah, we're getting there. Very, very good. Okay. This person worked for the city. You saw them at Easter. Hmm. There's, think of their name. Narrow in the focus. This is someone that you used to look up to, but later in life, the relationship has become more eye to eye, and maybe you also do some help for this person in some ways. It's become more reciprocal, perhaps. It's not one way anymore. There's a new dynamic level to it. Okay, good. Let me think of this. There's, um, I'm seeing three names. I'm seeing their full legal name. There's some type of abbreviation and there's something different that you call them, is that correct? There's three at the same time. Great, which one do you want me to get? Uh, I'll see what I can do, I'll see what I can do. This. Oh, I'm seeing two things. Think of a, don't say it out loud, could you think of a vowel in, think of a vowel in the middle of their first name, okay? What's the vowel you're thinking of, nice and loud? I. I, okay, good. It's a process of elimination, don't worry, don't worry. One more time. Actually, let's try this. Do you know their last name as well? Yes. Let's try this with the last name. Think of their last name. Ah, this is where I this is where I got it. Um, I want to go for the full thing. Uh, close your eyes. I don't want you to see what I'm writing. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. There's a couple things that I'm getting. Uh, I just want you to hold this, but don't look at it. You can't open your eyes. I believe you're thinking of your father, is that correct? That's correct. There's a name that you call him, there's a name his friends call him, and there's a name the government calls him. What is his full legal name? William Richard Forrest. William Forrest, okay. Um, what do his friends call him? Bill. And you call him dad? Yeah. Yeah, would you take a look at that? I saw two names, flip it over. William Bill Forrest, say hi to your dad the next time that you see him. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that's all from me for this evening during the cocktail hour. If you want, I can show you some magic, steal your watch, whatever you would like. If you enjoyed this time, uh, my name is Sawyer. If you did not enjoy this, my name is David Copperfield. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want our host back on the stage.